Hi, this is George coming to you from Nautilus Mission Control at the University of Rhode Island's Inner Space Center. The second leg of the 2012 season brings Nautilus back to the Anaximander Seamounts, where something surprising awaits deep down where the sun don't shine. Life. Now, at or near the surface of our planet, all life is powered by the sun in a process called photosynthesis. Plants capture light energy and store it in chemical bonds. Then animals eat those plants. So at the bottom of any food chain, you'll find photosynthetic organisms. But what about deep underwater where there is no light? How can life survive? The answer is chemosynthesis. Now, chemosynthesis isn't actually that different from photosynthesis. But instead of light energy powering life, chemical energy powers it. Methane and sulfides that bubble up through the Earth's crust are used by chemosynthetic bacteria. That releases energy, which powers a process similar to photosynthesis. Organisms then either eat the bacteria or provide a home for them within their tissue and then use the energy that the bacteria produce. These two worms, for example, have no mouth and no gut. They don't eat like most animals do. Instead, they depend entirely on chemosynthetic bacteria to survive. So there are two parallel food chains on this planet. One that gets its energy from the sun and another that gets its energy from molecules that seep out of the Earth's crust. And this second food chain was discovered only 35 years ago by a team that included our very own Dr. Robert Ballard. Well, we hope you enjoyed this peek behind the science. For more, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And of course, you can always join the expedition live right here at NautilusLive.org.